Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Boy, this should be a treat. This is uh, one that Parrish sent me. This is Firestone, Firestone Walker's Wookie Jack, which is an unfiltered black rye IPA. Uh, it's got bottled on, and the first part of this is very hard to read at the bottom of the label. It looks like it's got January... Looks like January 3rd. It's either January 3rd or January 2nd. Now, now that I look at it, it's like it's January 27th of 2014. So this was done in January, to end of January evidently, of this year. This is an 8.3 by volume uh, beer. And there are two IBUs listed uh, on the sites here. One of them is 60 and one of them is 80. So I don't know which one is accurate. Uh, Rate Beer says its IBUs is 80 at the top of the uh, rating here, but in the commercial description it says it's at 60 IBUs. So I would kind of think it would probably be in the 60 range since that's in the commercial description of it. So the uh, Commercial description says, Wookie Jack is our first foray into the dark outer world of black IPAs, rich dark malts, and spicy rye, careening into a bold citrus lading hops, creating a new dimension of IPA flavors. This brew has been left unfiltered and unfined to retain all of its texture and character. At 60 IBUs, Wookie Jack is gnarly on the outside, yet complex and refined on the inside. Well, I don't know if y'all can hear that wind, but it is howling again. Damn, I'm ready for spring. I wish this shit would just go to frick away. You know what I'm saying, guys? It's been one of those winters around here, and I am ready for spring. Uh, April is this coming week, and I can't wait for a little, little bit warmer weather. Now, I'm not hankering for no 90-degree stuff, uh, but I am ready from 60s and 70s and, and, and uh, some 80s instead of this 20s and 30s that we've been having and even in lower temperatures. And around here in Virginia, in the wintertime, it's windy as hell most of the time. In the summertime, you can't get a damn breeze. So I don't know what that's about. But it's weather. What can you do? All right, guys. Let's, uh, let's get into this one. The food pairings for this, uh, since the uh, black ale or black IPA is not technically a style, there are no food pairings, but this goes well with your typical IPA stuff. Uh, your cheeses are going to be uh, Monterey, Pepper Jack, Sharp Blue, Cheddar, your more pungent cheeses, Gorgonzola, Limburger. And the meat for this is going to be grilled meat, game, and salmon, your stronger meat dishes. The glass wire today, the pint, Becker, the Nonic, the Tumbler, the Mug, the Stein, the Seidel, the Oversized Wine Glass. I've got the double glass for this one because I think it's going to enhance, enhance the aromas on this beer just a little bit. And uh, since it is an IPA, even though it's an 8.3 percenter, uh, it's going to keep, but your, your hops are going to fade on this over time. So uh, I would uh, suggest drinking it fresh. Uh, since it's an IPA, let's see if we can get into this thing without having to have some kind of master code. Parrish, thanks again, brother, for all the wonderful beers you've been sending me, man. You're your number one, buddy. Can't wait to get out to California and hopefully have a beer or three with you. All right, guys, while I'm pouring this in there, we got two openers left, only two black ones. Uh, everybody was hankering for the black ones the last time. So I ordered an extra one or two of those, and now it doesn't seem like I can give them away. So anybody needs an opener, especially you guys that was hollering for the black ones, there are two black ones left, so grab them while you can. With that semi-aggressive pour, a good two-finger head on that beer. Over into the light. 
I'm not getting any at all, at all guys. It is pretty dark, pretty black, almost like a stout in the glass. Good looking beer in the glass. Just about everything that I've had from Firestone Walker, I can't think of a single beer that I've had from them that I did not like. So uh, they do some pretty awesome stuff out there. And these guys are out of Paso Robles, or Paso Robles, California. So hopefully we'll get to tour that when we're on the motorcycles out there this August. I sure hope so. Great looking beer in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah, big hot presence in this beer. Pine, grapefruit, pineapple. Very hot forward. If I was blindfolded, I would say this is a double IPA. There is a hint of some roasted malt. Maybe I'm getting a little chocolate in there too on the nose. But the hops are so pungent, it's really hard to, to, to get that on the nose, get it, to get it to come out. But there are some darker malts in this, so especially with the color of this beer. Maybe some black malts or some uh, chocolate malts. So let's give it a taste, everybody. It's leaving a nice lacing on the glass already from the head going down. And we're down to just a little over a finger of head, so this uh, it's dissipating pretty quickly. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Parrish. You're the man. Oh yeah, nice creaminess to this beer too. Very creamy, almost like a stout. Dark malt, chocolate. I am getting some chocolate in the taste, but the hop presence doesn't seem. There's a large hop aroma on the nose, but it's fairly balanced on the taste. I'm getting some chocolate, roasted malt, and just a hint of some dark fruit, maybe uh, maybe some dates, raisins, figs, or plums. Very tasty. Not getting any of the alcohol for an 8.3 percenter. Wow, awesome beer, guys. Paris, you're a lucky man to be able to get your hands on all these wonderful beers. And I'm a lucky man to have a friend like you that sent them to me. So this definitely tastes like an A beer, guys. So we're going to let it warm up. It's 40 degrees right out of the fridge. And uh, take this great big 22-ounce uh, bomber and share the other half. And we'll come back and do the final chug on this one. Definitely looks like a winner. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left here. Boy, this is an awesome beer. I'm not surprised, though, because Firestone Walker does some pretty outstanding stuff. Uh, they got it going on out there in California. So many great breweries in that area. And their distribution to California is, looks like it's pretty impressive on top of that. It's, uh, it's a good place if you're into craft beers to live. So uh, if you can deal with the uh, mudslides, the fires, and the hurricanes, and earthquakes, uh, I believe I can stand to live there too. But all the rest of that stuff makes it kind of scary. So, all right, guys, uh, let's do the final chug on this one. Very nice beer. 8.3% alcohol is not noticeable at all. I mean, it's very well hidden, very well made beer. Final chug. This beer has a creaminess to it that most other black IPAs do not have. Most other black IPAs are kind of thin. I don't want to say watery, but they have a a very thin mouthfeel on them where this one has a nice medium creamy mouthfeel on this one. Pine, grapefruit, uh, pineapple, and the roasted malt with a hint of chocolate and dark fruit, plums, dates, raisins. Uh, pretty impressive, pretty damn awesome. Probably one of the best black IPAs I've ever had, guys. As far as I'm concerned, this is a definite 10. Uh, it would probably be a ten and a half if the scale went up to that, but my scale stopped at ten. But it's an awesome beer, Parish. Once again, this is an this is a winner. I mean, all the beers you send me are, are top notch beers. So, thank you, sir. My hats off to you for all the wonderful immaculate beers you send me. I am in uh, deeply in your honor. So, uh, this is a ten, guys. So, let's see what everybody else thinks. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first. 
Beer Advocate says 95, world class. It is a world class beer. If you can get your hands on a fresh bottle of Wookie Jack, you need to try to get your hands on it. Especially if you're an IPA, a hop head, and you, you're into the black IPAs. This has a lot of stuff going on. Very complex beer. Very tasty beer. And like I said, with 8.3%, you could sell her this if you wanted to become more maltier uh, over time and, and don't like quite that much hoppy presence in your beer. Uh, it would become more malty and the hops will fade over time if you want to sell this for a couple of years and, and, uh, and let them fade. And, and I'm sure being an unfiltered beer, uh, sell this at about 60, 65 degrees, uh, it'll, it'll continue to do its thing in the bottle. It, it, it will mature. So... Uh, Awesome beer. Very, very awesome. Let's go over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer. Now, here's what we're talking about. Rate Beer says 100 overall and 100 in the style. That's the numbers I'm talking about. That's, that's, that's what this beer is. It is a 10 beer, outstanding beer. You need to get your hands on it if you're an IPA, hop head, or you like the black IPAs, guys. So, let me know. Give me some comments back on this one, whether you liked it, didn't like it, and you can get your hands on it or not. I loved it. Alright guys, that's all we're going to say about this one. Hit that like button as usual. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then. Might get lucky. Might get another 10 beer. I hope so.